A warm welcome for everyone to session number 35 in the part of React Learning Series. In this session, we will discuss about building custom hooks in React. There might be instances where we have been writing the same repetitive and redundant stateful logic inside multiple components. Let's take a look at one example. Assume that we have app component in our application and this app component is making use of two other components. One is employee component and the other one is department component. Employee component connects to a web API, fetches the list of employees when the component is mounted and display the list of employees. Similarly, department component connects to a web API, fetch the list of departments when the component is mounted and display the department's data. Resulting, when we render our app component to the DOM, it looks this way. In order to achieve this, we might have written the same code in both employee component as well as in the department component. What if, if we want to reuse the code between two different components? We were able to handle this by creating render props and higher order components in the case of class components. Let's see how do we handle this in the case of function components. Let's open index.js file from our demo project. We will develop three components. First one is employee component. Second one is department component. And the third one is app component. We have developed these components in our previous videos. To save the time, let me copy the code of these components one by one. We will start with employee component. We have a function called as employee in which we have created a state variable called as employees and that is being initialized to empty array. And we have handled one hook called as use effect in which we are sending the web API request, getting the data and assigning that to our employee state variable by calling set employees function. And from this component, we are returning a div container in which we have placed a table. And within this table, we are looping through our employee state variable and displaying the records. Next, let's place department component code here. We have another function called as department in which we have created a state variable called as departments. And we are sending a web API request, getting the data and assigning to our department state variable by calling set departments function. And from this component, we are returning a div container in which we are displaying the list of departments in a table. Then comes the last component that is app component. I have that code handy as well and I am pasting it here. We have a function called as app from which we are returning a div container in which we are calling our employee component as well as department component and we are calling our app component and that is being rendered to our root container. Now, let's have a close look at our employee component and department component. We have created one state variable called as employees and we have use effect hook here in which we have written the code to send the web API request, get the data and assign that to our employees state variable. And if we look at department component, we have created another state variable called as departments and we have handled use effect hook here in which we have the code to send the web API request, get the list of departments and assign it to our department's state variable. In both the components, we have created one state variable and we have handled one use effect hook in which we have written the code to send the web API request, get the data and we are assigning that to our state variable. Now rather than writing that same piece of code again and again in two different components, we can create one JavaScript function in which we can write this reusable code and that function can be used in any component wherever we want to reuse that logic. Let's go ahead and create a function called as useList. Let this function 
accept the web API URL as a parameter. Now within this function, we will create one state variable in which we will store the list data and we will pass a function and we will call our use state hook here and we'll initialize that to empty array. Now we will call the web API within our use effect hook and I'll paste this entire code within our use effect hook of use list function and here we will change this URL. Instead of hard coding the URL, we'll pass the URL parameter which this function is accepting. And then instead of set employees, we call our set data function. And to that set data function, we pass this result. We have created one JavaScript function called as useList, which is accepting URL as a parameter. Within this function, we have created one state variable by using useState hook. And we have used another hook called as useEffect, in which we have the code to send the web API request get the data and assign that to our state variable. Now from this function, we will return the data. We'll say return data. Remember that we have created a JavaScript function called as useList and as it is a JavaScript function, it can have any number of parameters and from this function, we can return any data we wanted. But within this function, as we are using other React hooks, like use state and use effect, this function can be referred as a custom hook in React. Now we can call this use list hook from both employee component as well as from the department component. Let's go to employee component. Now we can take out this code. We can say const and here we call our use list hook. And to this use list hook, we will pass our employee web API. URL and we can do the same changes even for our department component. We are calling our use list hook from our department component as well. One can see that instead of duplicating the same code in both the components, we have created a JavaScript function called as use list in which we have created the state variable and we have implemented the use effect hook which is sending the web API request, getting the data and returning the data. Save the changes. Navigate to the browser. We can see that both employees data and department's data are being displayed here. Building our own hooks lets us extract component logic into reusable functions like how we have done in the case of use list hook. A custom hook is a JavaScript function whose name starts with use and that will internally use other hooks. It is a convention that we will start the hook name with use else we will be violating the rules of hooks. We will discuss rules of hooks in our upcoming videos. A custom hook doesn't have a specific signature. We can decide what it takes as arguments and what it returns. We will continue the discussion of custom hooks in our upcoming videos. Thank you for watching this video and have a great day.